Hi, we are working on 9.2b, finding function values from a graph. Just like what we did before when you had a relation and they asked you what f of 2 was, you went ahead and you looked for the point that had an x value of 2, and then you found out what the y value was. Well, when they give you a graph, we do basically the same thing. What you're doing on letter A, it says find f of 2. So you look at the graph and you try to find the x value to be 2, and your goal is to find out what the y value is. So because my x value is a positive 2, I'm going to go on the x axis and I'm going to go to number 2. And once I'm there, I'm going to go ahead and try to find out what the y value is. So I'm going to go over here on the x value is 2, and I'm going to go up until I touch the graph. And as I touch the graph, remember, this might not be a perfect answer, but this is what I got here. So I'm going to just pretend like that that graph is perfectly at the 2, 1. So at this point, I, my x value is 2 and my y value is 1. So I know what that's going to end up being. That's going to be 1. f of 2 is equal to 1. 2 is my x value, the y value is 1. Now I'm going to do the same thing for f of negative 2. I'm going to go back here to the origin. I'm going to go over my x value is negative 2. But I'm going to rise up until I hit the graph. And when I hit that graph, it's going to be negative 2, positive 3. So that is going to be 3. Excuse me. Now for letter C, it's a little different. They want you to find out what x is when y is 0. So this time, they want you to find out what x is when y is 0. So I'm going to take this graph, and I'm going to find out where y is 0. So I'm going to keep on going down this graph. Now, if you notice, right here is where y is 0. Well, at that point, that is 4, 0. That means my x value is 4, my y value is 0. So in this case, my x value is 4. Now, that is just using the functions. Now, what happens when they give you an equation and they want you to find out what the function is? So that's what we're going to do right now. Always remember that y can be interchanged with f of x. They mean the same thing. So if you have an equation that says y equals something, you can rewrite it as f of x is equal to something, whatever it happens to be. So let's actually do a problem. So on this first example, we have write an equation using the function notation f of x. Basically, I need to get x, I'm sorry, y by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 12x squared from both sides, just because I want to get negative y squared by itself. Okay, so now I get negative 4y equals negative 12x squared plus 8. Now I need to get y by itself, so I'm going to divide everything by negative 4, and I'm going to be left with y equals 3 x squared minus 2. Now, I got y by itself. That means I isolated it. Now, I can interchange f of x and y. So I just switched them out. That's all I did. And I am left with 3x squared minus 2. So I was able to make an equation in the form of y equals 3x squared minus 2. And I was able to interchange that and get rid of the y and just put in f of x, okay? But there's now things that they want me to do. They want me to find out what f of 1 is, and they want me to find out what f of a is. So let's go ahead and let's find out what f of 1 is. What that means is wherever the letter x is, we need to plug in 1. So 3 times x squared minus 2. I got this equation from here. So wherever there's an x, I'm going to put a 1, because remember, that's what x is right here. They're telling you that x is 1. 1 squared is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 minus 2 is 1. 
Now I'm going to find out what f of a is. Remember again, wherever there's an x squared, I'm going to put a blank spot. Now my x this time is a. So wherever the letter x was, I'm going to substitute in a. So now we have a squared times 3 is 3a three squared minus 2. And you can't combine those, so you're finished. That's it for that one. Now let's try another one. This one here is we're going to graph linear, um, so a function that can be defined by f of x equals ax plus b. Whenever you're graphing, we normally want to say f of x is y, because you know you're going to graph it. And I'm going to just kind of talk to you guys. This here is, um, it's in slope-intercept form. A is the number in front of the x, that's actually your slope. B is your y-intercept, that's where it crosses the y-axis. When you guys have an equation in the form of y equals mx plus b, that's considered um, slope-intercept form. And um, the domain means you can put in any number you want for x your y value will be some number. So it's basically any number that you want to put in there, positive or negative, and your range would be, um, it, it would be infinitely positive and infinitely negative. So we're going to go ahead and do an example like this. So first of all, it says graph the function, give the domain and the range. Now, you have two ways to do this. You can use slope-intercept form, which we've done way back, I think it was in chapter three, or you can use a table. It does not matter whatsoever. I personally would use slope-intercept form. If you guys remember, slope-intercept form looked like this. This is the point you document first, you graph first, and then you use your slope, which is rise over run. Okay, this here is your y-intercept. So this number right here, I'm going to circle it. On the y-axis at negative 4, I'm going to put a point. My slope is 2 over 3. My rise is 2. My run is 3. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, and I'm going to run 3. 1, 2, 3. Put a point. I'm going to now graph them. Whoops, the best that I possibly can. Now, I can tell you that my domain, which means all of these x values and all of these x values, it's going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. My y values mean this goes forever in this direction, which means the positive infinity, and it goes forever in this direction, which is the negative infinity. So these both have the same range and domain. Um, it's all negative numbers and all positive numbers, like many. It just continues forever, okay? Then let's see what else we have. Do I have another one? I do, this one here. Now this one, same thing. My y-intercept is one, so I'm gonna go to one. Now my slope is negative three over four. I can write this as negative 3 over 4, and I can also write it as 3 over negative 4. Those three things all mean the same thing. In this case, I'm going to use this one right here because I'm going to go down 3 and over 4. So the first thing you do is you plot this. Then you use your slope to help find the second point. So I plot 1 on the y-axis. I'm going to go down 3, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to go over 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Put a point. Now I'm going to connect these two points together. Now my domain again, that means I go forever in the x direction, negative x direction. I go forever in the positive x direction. So my domain again is going to be negative, um, a, uh, negative infinity to positive infinity. Now my y value goes forever in the positive infinity and all the way down to the negative infinity. So it would, again would be negative infinity to positive infinity. Now the next problem is a horizontal line. Whoops, let me make sure this goes. Now, on the, um, hang on one second, um, you text her, 
Sorry, I'm answering a call from someone. So sorry. All right, now this one here, it says graph f of x equals two. What this means is no matter what the x value is, you will always get two. That means it's a horizontal line. So at two, you're going to have a graph. Let me try to draw this as straight as I possibly could. Whoa. That means that you're going to have a horizontal line. That means if I have a point here, which is negative two, two. If I have a point here, three, two. It does not matter what the x values are. They're going to go on forever in the negative x direction. They're going to go on forever in the positive x direction. So the domain is going to be a negative um, infinity to positive infinity. However, my range is two. My range will be 2 because my y value will always be 2. No matter what the domain is, my range will always be 2. Okay? And let's see what we have next. And that is it. You guys have a great day. Looking forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye. If I can figure out how to turn this off. You guys have a great afternoon.